are you doing? I hope you're all doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another one of my installations of working from home, how I'm staying productive and that kind of thing. But this video is going to cover the topic of money, finances, how I save, what I do for a job, how I earn money, what we are saving for, that kind of thing. And it's also an exciting video because this is in partnership with Revolut. I'm going to be getting onto that in a little bit towards the middle of the video. But just so you know, this is going to be a paid partnership and Revolut is an amazing banking app that also offers a whole host of amazing features. And like I say, I'm going to be going into that in a lot more detail into the video, but we're just going to continue with what is going to be a busy Friday. Today is Friday and I really tend to just try and tie up all of my loose ends for the week. So then we have the weekend to just enjoy and then I'm ready for the next week. So I'm going to show you my working from home setup because it has changed. I know you saw glimpses of it, but yeah, it has changed from what you are used to seeing. And then I'm going to run through how I actually manage my finances and then things like um, how I chase payments, that kind of thing, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you are in the mindset that you want to try and stay productive working from home, or maybe you just want a little bit more of an insight into how I actually operate on the daily, then carry on watching. But yeah, let's crack on with the working from home setup. So this is my setup. This is our actually our dining table. This is our setup here. I'm not going to focus too much on that, but this is my setup. So obviously pre whole pandemic and lockdown, I would have had my office space in my bedroom because this was our communal space. So obviously Zara is now working from home as well. So we thought we'd make this into more of a communal space just so we can work next to each other and we don't get separation anxiety. <laughs> um, I did used to have my big screen, but I haven't really been using it as much lately. I do use this more for like video editing, but this week I've just been doing a lot more admin. So I've just been using my laptop. But over here, I just have things like my um, memory card reader. Then I have an SD card that I take pictures on here. This is an external hard drive for like a thousand um, gig, so one terabyte. Definitely recommend getting one of those if you do a lot of like media or file transfer. I also have my iPad that I've been um, watching videos on, looking at recipes, a pen, a highlighter, and then this is my notepad that I just obviously take notes on. It's really good because it's categorized as well, so yeah, I'm a big note taker. So that is pretty much it in terms of things that I use on the daily. And then I just have my glasses, I have my two phones that, uh, this is my like, regular phone that I do things daily on. And then this is a new thing that's just came into my life. This is my new work phone. Um, I've got my smoothie because it's just breakfast time. So as always made me a breakfast smoothie. And then just have my mouse and my laptop. And that's pretty much, that is the setup. Not a lot, not really exciting, but it works. And it has definitely been useful to have Zara next to me because we can work together. So yeah, what I'm going to do is get cracking with a bit of work now, just really get in the zone, get working, tick things off my to-do list, and then we'll take a break and I'll talk to you guys more about everything that I do day to day. Okay, so I've just worked my way through my inbox. It's Well, I don't really categorize my emails. I probably should, but I just leave them as they are. I've only really got one that is left to reply to, and I'm going to do that in a second. So I'm just going to cancel that. And then now I'm going to move over to iMovie. So basically, this is the software that I use to edit my videos. I know a lot of people do ask me um, what software I use and how I edit and that kind of thing. And it's nothing particularly fancy at all. It's very much just the basic software that comes on a MacBook. Again, don't need to be a MacBook, it can be anything. And this is essentially what takes up the majority of my time. So the videos that you guys do see and the videos that I sit and edit um, completely varies. This is gonna be a what I eat in a day, which will have already gone live by the time you guys watch this. But um, yeah, this is a relatively, I'd say it's a, like a medium sized video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it if it's already gone live. But yeah, it's, it's very much dependent on what I've filmed and how much of an edit it needs, whether it needs things overlaying, music, transitions, that kind of thing, but it's generally what it does. So the time is currently 9.52, so I'm going to really aim to get this done in say like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, so that's basically what's going to take up the majority of my morning and then I'm going to just crack on with a bit more work after that, do some more editing. I've got a video that I've got to send to a brand. So yeah, this is basically my day to day. Zara's just doing her worky bits over there as well. And this is pretty much what we work with. I try to stay off my phone as much as possible. So sometimes I'll just turn that over. So obviously this is work phone, this is personal phones. I do try and keep that away. I do always write to-do lists as well. So everything that's on here is gonna get ticked off. And this is pretty much the setup. <laughs> Okay, 
so I've just left my YouTube video to export doing this thing in the background. This is like a typical working day for me. I do regularly take breaks as well, just have a cup of tea and have a bit of a chat. But obviously I'm going to be chatting to you guys. So we're going to be talking about money in this video. More specifically finances, my personal finances, what I do for a job, how I save, how much I spend, etc, etc. So as I said at the start of the video, this is in partnership with Revolut and this is where I'm going to explain to you guys what Revolut is and how it can help you more specifically now than ever. So Revolut is a way to revolutionise the way you talk about money and the way that you look at finances. So it's a digital bank and alternative and it's just a better way to handle your money. So I still have my card arriving in the post, obviously given the current COVID-19. I am just using the digital app, which is brilliant, so I'm going to show you that. So this is the app. It is all encrypted, so you can use Face ID, password, so it's very, very safe in terms of managing your money and your finances but it is brilliant. So currently I have 20 British pounds on the Revolut app and I haven't left the house today, but that is my allocation for, I'm gonna say around two to three days. So anything I physically need to spend will come out of the Revolut app. And it does that because I can set up Apple Pay on my phone. So I have my regular bank card and then I have the Revolut bank card, which is here. So it's obviously a really good way, especially given the current circumstances, completely cash free. You can just use that to contactless pay. I also have it on my Apple Watch as well. So it's a completely streamless service that just helps you manage your money. So that is how I'm gonna to explain to you guys how I personally manage my money and what I do for a job, because I know I get asked that quite a lot. Well, I am a digital freelancer, content creator. I don't really know what my official job title is, but I essentially make content and put it on the internet, hence you potentially watching this video or if you follow me on Instagram and that kind of thing. And the majority of my money comes from partnerships. So it comes from brand partnerships or sponsors and it's just generally how things keep on going. Yeah, I do that full time. I've also had a lot of regular nine to five jobs, weekend jobs, I worked throughout university and I've constantly been saving. For me, saving is so important. I have always relied on savings, especially for like the rainy day fund. My nanny used to say to me, you never know what's around the corner, always have a rainy day fund. So that for me is savings. But naturally, as you get older, you turn to what you think you want to save for, whether that be a um, luxury purchase, a car, a house, more specifically for me, we are saving for a property. So myself and Zara rent a flat in London. Don't worry, I'm gonna get into finances in a bit. But yeah, we rent this flat in London. We don't own it, I wish we did. But yeah, we are renters. So ideally, we would love to have our own home and do some renovations and that kind of thing. So essentially, me and Zara are now in operation save. So how I do that is completely circumstantial on what comes in as to what I can put away. So our rent living in London is £1,400 a month. So in US dollars, that is around 1,744 US dollars and we have a two bedroom flat. So it's, for that kind of like average for London, in fact, that's actually pretty decent for the area we live in, in terms of how easy it is for us to get into central London. That's pretty much how much it costs. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's a lot. We split our rent directly down the middle. So I pay 700 pounds and Zara pays 700 pounds collectively making the 1,400. That does not include any form of transport. Obviously we aren't really using transport, but when things were normal, <laughs> we would, I'd say, spend an average around 100 pounds a month on travel. Then we also have bills on top of that. So we have our utility bills, so gas, electricity and water. And then we have our council tax, which I think Americans do also pay as well, but council tax is just something that we pay for the general upkeep of our flat, plus like things like emptying our bins and that kind of thing. So we pay council tax, which is again, I think it's about 65 pounds a month. It's just gone down. Um, so in total, I'd say my general expenditure, including bills, is around a thousand pounds a month. So that is 12,000 pounds per annum. So that's quite a lot of money. <laughs> it's a scary amount of money when you say it out loud. That's without putting any piece of clothing on my back or piece of food in my mouth. So I know roughly in my head, that's what I need to bring in every single month to survive, to exist. Anything above that, then I decide on what I want to do with it. So that can be things like clothing, it can be food, entertainment, subscription services, anything like that. And that is where Revolut comes in. So I'm pretty good with budgeting, but sometimes I can get a little bit spend happy. And this is where Revolut comes into its own because 
you can fully manage your money and manage your budget. So say for instance, you have 200 pounds a month that is yours after you've paid your rent or your mortgage, your bills, everything like that, the 200 pounds is yours to spend. That is where this comes in. And the categories are groceries, shopping, restaurants, travel, transport, entertainment, utilities, health, services, transfers, cash, general and insurance. So that is a massive spectrum of financial outgoings or ingoings, depending on how you look at them. So it can completely categorize and you can go and set yourself monthly budgets as well within the app. So you could allocate yourself that up until mid-April, which is when I'm currently filming this, I don't want to have spent any more than say 40 pounds on everything. And you can look at where you are in terms of tracking yourself. You can manage your calendar and look for this month or this week. As I said, it's a really secure app as well, guys. So it is obviously fully integrated. I have passwords on there, face recognition. I had to verify myself and who I was. You can create an account in minutes. It's completely free to create an account and then you pay for what kind of service you want. So you can just have the standard account, which is completely free, or you can pay a little bit more and get better benefits. And these benefits, obviously not given the current COVID-19 situation, but when this does pass, you can travel and it doesn't charge you for travel um, in terms of using your card abroad. You can send money to family and friends who are on Revolut to all over the world for free, which is brilliant. Again, very useful. It's just a great way to manage how much you are spending and track. So that's essentially what I do. So say I have a paycheck come in and it's from a brand for a piece of work that I've created. That is my money. So say it's a lump sum of 200 pounds. That 200 pounds, I have to deduce my tax, which I will pay back in April. You do your tax return every year. So I take off 20% of that and I put that in a separate pot. Then that money I then have to divide up into what I want to spend that on that's when Revolut comes in. So I can allocate that to complete expenditure on my behalf. And then I can allocate another part of money for rent. So it's a really clever way to just see everything in front of you because I know for me, I learned budgeting the hard way. When I first moved to London, I spent so much money. It was silly because obviously when you're a student moving to a big city, it's amazing. You can spend so much, you want restaurants and bars and nights out and it's amazing. But then when you actually see what it is you're spending it on and a tracking list and having that final figure, that's when things get scary. So yeah, that is generally how I do manage my finances. So I know in my head in London, the average earn, earning wage is more than where it would be in the rest of the UK. It, given an independent, but obviously for me, I'm a freelancer, so that can completely vary. Some months I can earn a considerably large amount of money, and then other months I can earn a lot less than what I'd be used to. So it kind of evens itself out. But for me, savings are so important, and having the Revolut app really, really just reinforces that and makes it feel a hell of a lot more stressless than it does just having money and not knowing what to do with it. So yeah, I will be doing a completely separate video about how much I actually spend in a week and it will be really interesting obviously when things go back to normal and we are shopping, etc, going out, things like that. But obviously for now we are currently staying at home as I hope everyone else is. So yeah, that will be a really cool video to film. So do let me know if you want to see that. But for now I'm currently managing everything with Revolut and it is changing the way I look at money. Okay, so I'm back to my desk now. Just put a video up on YouTube and I'm just doing the description box and things like that. This is kind of like the behind the scenes of what people don't really see. So this is the boring stuff. I mean, I don't really not enjoy it, but this is the stuff that I was like, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just getting everything ready and up. And this is gonna be the what I eat in a day, as I said earlier, it's actually really good. It made me hungry as I was editing it because it's got a mac and cheese recipe and that is absolutely divine if you do want to check that out i'll link it i'll link it up in this corner i think is that oh no i'll link it up in that corner it'll be in a corner <laughs> okay so that is one edit all done ready scheduled on the internet ready to go live and then now i have to start my second edit which is gonna be an afternoon tea style video we filmed it about two weeks ago and i haven't gotten around to editing it yet and it might potentially be live once this is live, if it is, I'll link it down below. So I open up iMovie and then what I do is actually um, create a whole new document. So do this, 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 this. This is how essentially I start a video. So this is like my timeline here and then I just import all of the footage and then I go through it all, edit in the bits that I like, maybe take the bits out that I don't feel like are relevant and then just carry on with the edit. And that's essentially, it's a lot of admin, the end part of editing, but it's really rewarding when you get the final video and it looks really good. So that is what I'm gonna do now. And that is the final edit of the day done, all scheduled for this Sunday coming at 8am. Obviously you guys will have seen this before this video goes live. So that is me, done.
I try to normalize my working hours as much as possible midweek, obviously with what I do, I do pick up the camera as and when. I do try and just keep within Zara's working hours as well because obviously she works nine till six, nine till six, Monday to Friday. And obviously that's quite a large um, work an hour in the day and you can get a lot done in those hours so I do try to adhere to them as much as possible but yeah I think I'm just gonna end this video here because it's Friday it's the weekend we're gonna have a little glass of something and just have a really nice relaxing weekend but I really hope you have enjoyed a little insight into what my day entails and also a huge shout out to Revolut for sponsoring this video as well if you do want to check them out the app and also the card, then I will link them down below and you can find out all of the details and whether it is right for you. But yeah, I really do think that is a brilliant way to manage your money. But thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, it has been an absolute pleasure and I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.